All right, I got some water boiling here a little bit just to get started. Uh, <clears throat> put some of that, uh, you know, that stuff in there. Ew. I think what I'll do is I'll just stick one of these in there. It's pretty hot. Let's see what happens to it. Yeah, Glenn, that's hot, man. You said it was hot. Probably be best if you cut those up. I wouldn't sterilize it a little bit. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's not that bad. So what I'm gonna do is I, we got some, uh, <clears throat> remember those little polypore mushrooms we had the other day? Kind of chewy. What we need to do is go ahead and finish cutting these up. And then I got some onions and some of that uh, catnip and some sorrel I found today. So we're gonna put all that together. And I got some, uh, you know, Got some hot sauce here, <laughs> and uh, I guess we're gonna have some uh, sweetened. So what I got for sweetener? I got some mustard. Let's see what else I got in here. Hmm. Let me let me get back to you on that one. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like when you put it in the. Uh, let's see if I can get my light situation here going, so you can see. That's what it looks like in there. I just threw some water in there. It's boiling. Got my little Coleman stove going. But yeah, I stuck it in there. It's not falling apart or anything. In case y'all were wondering what it looks like when it boils or cooks. Let me see if I can get rearranged here real quick. So probably what we're going to do would be in our best interest. Um, that's what it pretty much, that's that one I got that tree. And we got some in there boiling. So probably what I should do is, I guess, cut a section or two of this off. And then throw it in there. And then we'll just cut it down. I've got some seasoning already cut up. We got those uh, diamond orange polypore bracket funguses we got. We got some onions that have been growing out here that I actually transplanted from someplace else. Got some sorrel in there. Uh, what did I put in there? Oh yeah, the catnip. <laughs> So we have some seasonings. It's not like we're going to be out of luck here. So what I'll do is I'll cut some of this down and we'll put it in the soup and then we'll season it up with the Tabasco sauce and some of the mustard and see where that takes us. Okay, but uh, yeah, we're going to boil this first before I eat too much of it. That raw piece that I ate, it did kind of make my stomach go blue 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 for about 20 minutes and then it quit. And I've been pretty mellow after I ate it. So, I don't know if I'm tired or just because that's the effect of it. But that's what it looks like boiling in the pot. But uh, this is that big piece that we found on the side of the uh, tree. And, uh, yeah, that looks a little bit more meatier. So, we'll cut this up with the scissors. Usually, that's usually what I do is I just sit here, cut up all my stuff with my scissors, put it right here in this little bowl. All right, when I get it all together, get my water boiling and throw it in there and season it. Yeah, I don't think it'd be too bad. So let's do that. Uh, that's what it looks like once you cut it open with the scissors. Uh, it's kind of squishy. But as you can see, I got plenty in here. <laughs> doesn't look attractive. Some of it doesn't. But uh, that's... I'm thinking that what we got off the tree would be... Uh, yeah, my forte. But uh, yeah, there's plenty of it so uh, yeah that's what it looks like after you get it all cut up in there with your seasonings and uh, so we'll throw that in there I think I've made those too big but we'll go ahead and chunk that in there I didn't put a lot of water in there on purpose to get the uh, water hot it's 
kind of get that around. Let it simmer in there and get the water really good and hot so I can actually sterilize this just in case it doesn't kick off right. Okay, after we add a little bit more water here, we got all of our ingredients in there. We got our jelly fungus in there. We got our polypore bracket, the orange diamond polypore bracket. You can see it? I cut it up with scissors. Um, we have our sorrel, which is wild sorrel. Curly dock, pretty much the same thing. I've got, I cut up one. Two mulberry, two mulberry leaves. Remember, we've been doing the mulberry thing. So I put the mulberry leaves in there. I just recommend maybe one. Don't overdo it. They said they were hallucin hallucinatory. But uh, I haven't tripped off anything yet. Been feeling kind of weird, but in a good way. Then we put the catnip in there. Remember our little buddy catnip? Nipatelia, nipatelia. Right, nipa, nipata, nipatelia. Remember the little one? So we're bringing this to a boil. Now, this is what that stuff looks like. Our little jelly fungus. Kind of looks like bacon or pork, doesn't it? Now as this gets to a simmer or a boil, what we need to do now is add our spices. So let's see if we can check that try to do that. I'm doing this one-handed as usual. So let me see what I got here in the old the old cabinet. Well, <clears throat> I guess it's just going to be me and old Sasa Bicande. Cuz I can't find the uh, the other stuff that goes with it. Do, 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 do. And then we're just going to let it simmer. Put some hot sauce in there and let it go. I think that's pretty much what's going to be. I seem to have some difficulties with my stove for some reason. Probably because it's on its last leg. Even with a new tank of gas, it's not working too great. So we're going to let that simmer for a while. See if I can find something else to throw in there. Give that about five, ten minutes. Okay, so basically, let's look at this texture here. Uh, that's what you're looking at. It looks like that. Let's see if I can find some here. There's some in here. I got it cut up though. I had some big pieces in here. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty much what it looks like after you cut it up and put it in there and let it soak in there. So, like I said, it doesn't really have much of a flavor to it. <clears throat> that's probably why they just let it soak in there with all the other ingredients and spices. And let's see if I can find a nice big piece here. put a big old ear in there that would have been the fun part right there we go so that's pretty much what you're looking at so let's see if he uh, let's see what it tastes like here well it's got interesting texture to it like I said it's chewy it's kind of like eating calamari if anybody's ever ate calamari, that's what it's like. Except it's more... Got a little bit more earthy, minerally flavor to it. Once you put it in here with that, then you cook it, it tenderizes a little bit. And the fun part is it looks like an ear. You see what I'm saying? Freak your friends out. Ooh, you want to bite of my ear? Come on. But yeah, he, I just cut him up pretty small. I mean, if it, it's kind of grody if you want to see somebody's ear floating around in your stew. If you want to freak people out for Halloween or something, you can have ears too. But remember, this is a fungus. Somebody might be allergic to it. 
I did eat some a couple hours ago, that raw one. I feel fine. I did have like maybe a little bit of a headache. Kind of got a little, uh, you know, felt a little bit lightheaded. Kind of like, you know, your th blood would be thinned. So this is the other thing too. Uh, and especially if you're using hot foods, that has a tendency to thin your blood too. So, uh, yeah. As you can see, there's little pieces of it right there. I recommend cooking it, but if you got in a survival situation where you had to have something to eat, just wash it off because you might end up eating a snail. Of course, snails are edible too, aren't they? And I haven't got to that far. I ain't got that far yet. I probably have eaten a few snails and some other bugs. I just never, I didn't even know it. I eat a lot of uh, foreign food, so there's no telling what's in it. It's not that bad. The texture reminds me exactly of calamari. Except calamari is hard to chew. This is a little bit more, uh, well, digestible. And it's not that bad. But remember, it is a fungus and some people would have adverse reactions. So I don't recommend eating a whole bunch of this right off the bat like I'm doing. That's how I messed up with my morel experience. I eat too many of them and uh, yeah, <laughs> eventually you will have a uh, a food allergy. But I ate a pound and a half of morels, so. But that's what it, pretty much what it looks like, the jelly fungus. That's what it looks like. Uh, if you were here, you could taste it with me, but nobody wants to be my buddy because I eat weird stuff. But yeah, that's what the ear would look like. You put it in there, that would be cool though. We'll have to try that. Yeah, I'll just... We'll try again. I'll keep some of these and we'll try one more time. I'll make some with actually with it floating in there because I never really just walked out there and picked some myself and just started eating it. I knew what it was. I knew it was in there. I just didn't know it actually really. I've seen these all my life. I just never actually knew that's what was in my food. <laughs> okay, so I hope this helps you guys out. I'll talk to y'all later. Bon appetit. Okay, we're going to fry one of these see what happens see this is on top of the fire let's see what happens to it I mean does it change the flavor does it smell better actually it smells pretty it smells better yeah that's what I would probably do wash them fry them then stick them in there let's see what happens Here's what I did. I fried this. This is a fried piece, okay? Look at the, notice the, uh, notice the ends. That looks like roast beef, don't it? You just put it in there. So now you got roast beef. So you'll never know the difference. See? <laughs> so what I did was I fried them. I took one of those little flat, the flat ones, and I just stuck it on the grill here, and I fried it. And uh, it actually tastes better. It tastes better than just throwing it in there. So I recommend just frying these. Yeah, there's that one that looks like, yeah. See, now it's starting to look like meat. <laughs> so if you're trying to, you know, get off of that, and you want something kind of similar, once you fry it, it doesn't have that chewiness to it anymore. It actually starts to taste like, you know, it starts to be in the meat category. Roast beef or something like that. And then you boil it. But after you fry it first, you know, singe it real good, then throw it in there. Oh, yeah, man. That that fixes it. And it's the flavor and the smell changes. Anyhow, that's what I recommend. So, 
Yeah, roast beef. Wow. From a tree fungus that looks like an ear. Who would have thunk it? <laughs>